morning children so in today's class we are going to deal with the vaccines in previous class we dealt with antibiotics what are antibiotics you know it that the substances which kill the disease causing bacteria are called as antibiotics isn't it so these antibiotics as you know that they are taken after we are suffering from a disease or our disease attacks to our body then only we take the antibiotics but these antibiotics cannot prevent the disease attacking us so there are they we need some substances which prevent the attack of the diseases to our body so these are called as vaccines so vaccines are the substances or the they are made from the dead microorganisms so they are made from the dead means they are weakened microorganisms they kill the microorganisms that enter our body that cause the diseases is it clear children so we'll read about the vaccines now in this chapter now okay now that means vaccines protect us from various diseases that attack our body okay children normally when you go to the on uh, doc that is a doctor when you are suffering from any disease then he may prescribe you the injections or drops or tablets in such a manner he may give the medicines to you isn't it so these are they you will be also given the some type of medicine ahead before you get the disease so these are called as the vaccines okay children now i'll tell you how the vaccines are been prepared so run note down in your notebooks ma vaccines are made okay children see here vaccines are made from the dead and weakened microorganisms from the dead and weakened microorganisms okay children so vaccine is given before the person is affected with the disease it is given before the person is affected with the disease okay children now you know so is it a uh, useful to them for the longer period or not antibiotics again and again you may be suffering from the disease and you will be taking the antibiotics isn't it it is a, a, the if you get the fever it may be repeated all again after 6 months or 2 months that depends upon your immunity levels isn't it so here the vaccines are long time prescribed by the doctors they save our body from the invasion of the microorganisms for the longer period so we can say that the vaccine develops immunity and persists for a longer period they develop immunity in our body immunity in our body and persist for a longer period Okay, children. Now done. So, what are vaccines? How are they formed? Vaccines are made from the dead and weakened microorganisms. They kill the disease-causing germs that enter our body, and they have the ability to develop the uh, and that is the to develop the antibodies in our body. Is it clear? It is given before the person is affected with the disease. They develop the immunity in our body and. Persist for a longer period in our body. Now done. So children, now it is the invention of vaccine. In seventeen ninety six, the first vaccine was against the disease causing the humans was being discovered by whom? It was Edward Jenner. It was Edward Jenner in seventeen ninety six discovered the smallpox vaccine. smallpox vaccine how it he discovered he has observed that many of the milkmaids who had the cowpox disease just did not get the smallpox to them so they were immune to the smallpox which was a 
very familiar in those areas of his village so in a village when he was experimenting with the several with the several cow mean cow that is um uh, the milkmaids um, who never get the smallpox disease who were suffering from cowpox he took the uh, posture of the uh, cowpox uh, that fluid of the maid who contained the cowpox disease so he inoculated this cowpox fluid into a 8 years old boy with the permission of their parents so for for his um, uh, we can say that it is um, our lucky that uh, he has discovered uh, that the boy even when he was um, under the uh, circumstances of the smallpox patients also he did not get the smallpox disease from this he concluded that uh, the disease can be eradicated by this uh, smaller minute weakened cowpox vaccine that is being developed over the smallpox is it clear children so the cowpox was very mild that is a mild microorganism which causes a disease a mild disease but a smallpox is a very since severe dangerous disease which killed the patients in those days so the persons who were suffering from the smallpox were uh, they, they were dying very soon when they get this disease but the cowpox the virus or the cowpox disease it was a, a very a mild attack of the disease through which they were developing the immunity power not to attack this disease okay children so in this manner it paved the way for the, by the edward jenner for the invention of several other vaccines into our world so we can see that he was the first person who brought about the vaccine into this world that is uh, that in our country in the in the countries to come along uh, with the vaccines it was the first vaccine that was um, invented by the that was we can say that was discovered by the edward jenner okay children so he made experiments over the milk maid who got a cowpox is it clear so they were they did not get the smallpox hope you have understood it so he, they inoculated among the small boy but for this you should get the permission of the parents isn't it and they also accepted to do so and when inoculated over 8 years old boy then he found that he was not uh, he was not attacked he was uh, even though he was mingling with the other children who got the smallpox he was not suffering from the smallpox disease and so he got concluded that a mild uh, inoculation of the microorganism of that particular uh, Uh, fluid can uh, prevent the diseases that is smallpox disease so in that manner the edward jenner paved the way for the development of various vaccines into the world okay children next we'll see about the different uh, vaccines developed for the different diseases and who are the scientists who developed the different vaccines to us and helped and the world from the uh, various diseases not only to the human beings but also the animals also okay children now let us do it children now we have seen about the discovery of the vaccines isn't it so now we know the meaning of the vaccine what is the meaning the Va vaccine means how it was discovered the name vaka then it was discovered from the name vaka that means cow from this the vaccine name was being invented okay children so the next other uh, vaccines were developed for polio in which the different children were being disabled at the early stages of their life itself you might have seen in the uh, railway stations or so on when you move around uh, you may see seen um, most of the children suffering from the polio in olden days before 300 years ago if you see it was very um common in our society that the most children suffering from the polio disease now it was eradicated mostly and our government has been on uh, introducing a lot of programs uh, through the government programs and uh, giving the polio drops oral polio drops and also the inoculating the children be below 5 years age uh, to give them polio oral polio drops also you as you know it when you when you are small at the younger period or infant stage you are given the oral 
polio drops up. If you ask your parents, you may know it about it. Now also, the government is introducing so many programs and often to cure the children when they are born. So in, in, during the infancy stage itself, this vaccine is being given. First, who developed the oral polio vaccine and uh, different other vaccines that was differed and developed by whom we will see now. So the vaccine for polio was first developed by Dr. Jonas Sack in 1952. Okay, children. So he want to save many people from not to affect from polio, and he has took the patent rights to this vaccine. And later, he the uh, the doctor Albert Sabin in 1957 he developed oral polio vaccine. So this vaccine is named as Sack and Sabin vaccine. Sack and Sabin vaccine who has developed the vaccines for the polio. So this vaccine is called as Sack and Sabin vaccine children so now coming to the what happens when a vaccine what is vaccine we said it is a weakened microorganism so what happens if a microorganism enters our body when a microorganism enters our body our body develops some defenders to fight against that microorganisms and that defenders are called as antibodies okay children so in these um, vaccines are the weakened microorganisms that are injected into our body and uh, what happens when they are injected our, to our body the already so the they are present in our body if they are given earlier they they are present in our body and when a disease causing germ enters in our body it fights with these antibodies learns to fight already know how to fight the microorganism and it fights against the disease causing germs and save our body from the diseases that is about the antibodies and vaccines see here children once again i revise it what are antibodies and what are vaccines antibodies whenever a disease causing microorganism enter our body the body produces defenders to fight against the disease, the, that means disease causing germs. So, disease causing microorganisms or germs. So, these defenders are called as antibodies. Okay, children. So, these defenders, what do they do? They know how to fight the microorganisms. They are already in our body, isn't it? This is a, so we can say that this microorganisms is a weakened disease causing microorganism when it enters or injected into our body so it knows how to defend our body now so vaccines are like so they are called as vaccines so when vaccines are inoculated in our body they cure our body even when our body um, attack is attacked with the disease severe disease causing germs also they have ability to fight against that disease causing germs and uh, save our body from the diseases so these are called as vaccines okay children I hope you have understood this. Several vaccines were developed for chicken pox, small pox, rabies in animals, hepatitis in human beings, tuberculosis, that is TB, we say, isn't it? So this BCG vaccine, these are several vaccines are given to the different diseases and several vaccines are being developed further by several scientists. We will see now in the further classes now. Okay, children, now we will see what are the differences between antibiotics and vaccines okay till then you write these notes so next i'll take up the differences between antibiotics and vaccines see children here the differences between the antibiotics and vaccines antibiotics are the chemical substances which are obtained from the back fungus that sorry that is the ah yes it's obtained from the fungus that you have learned about the Alexander Fleming when he was working with the bacterial colonies that developed a fungus so which killed the bacterial colonies isn't it bacteria caused disease causing germs so this when he added to other disease causing bacteria it also killed those bacteria so it was developed from the fungus the first antibiotic was developed by Alexander Fleming that is the what is the first antibiotic ma? You have already learned about it. What is the first antibiotic that we ever known? It is penicillin, isn't it? So first antibiotic is penicillin. And next coming to the vaccines. Vaccines are made from the dead or weakened microorganisms. The first vaccine was developed by Edward Jenner. You know it by the cowpox vaccine. It was being developed and so the name Vaka. That is Vaka which means cow and the name vaccine was developed from that word Vaka. 
Next, these antibiotics. These are taken only when the person is affected by the disease. Antibiotics are given to the person only when you suffer from the disease and you go to the doctor and he will be prescribing you the antibiotics. And you know that the antibiotics should not be used unless and until the prescription of a doctor, isn't it? So that is the case in the antibiotics. And the vaccinations. Vaccination is given before the person is infected with the disease when you are born you are given at five years at one year so at a, um, zero years that is a zero to one years there is a vaccination one to two to three like that zero to five years continuously the vaccines are being given to you isn't it the human beings are being given the vaccines and also at the age of 14 15 years also you are vaccinated to prevent the various diseases and some more vaccines are also being developed by the scientists to cure several diseases that are now existing in this world and now we are suffering from the COVID-19 isn't it then the vaccine is ever to come and we hope so it is the best for the vaccine to come as soon as possible and we hope the best okay children and next coming to the antibiotics that control the bacterial diseases and vaccination develops the immunity in our body is it clear generally the our antibiotics they control the bacterial diseases if they kill the bacteria it is a type of fungus which kill the bacteria so we can be saved from the bacterial diseases whereas the vaccination it develops the immunity by not getting the diseases is it clear so it is powerful is vaccination useful or antibiotics vaccination is useful because they prevent us from getting the diseases yes Next, antibiotics is only a temporary relief, that's all. They cure only for a, temp for a period of time, but again it may be repeated. You may be given the antibiotics to your fever or, a, or any cold or any so on, the disease that you can get at time. But again it may repeat one after some period of time, isn't it? But for the, if you take the vaccine for a particular disease, it is a longer, it persists in our body, the vaccine persists in our body for a longer period and saves in our body or the protects our body from disease causing germs as they develop the antibodies in our body which fight against the disease causing germs. Okay children, so that is about the differences between antibiotics and vaccines. And you can write the examples also for the vaccines and antibiotics. As antibiotics, you know it, developed the streptomycin, oreomycin, Allah Prakar Subbara. He belongs to West Kodavari. He developed the uh, streptomycin, oreomycin for the varicarial uh, bacterial diseases too. Okay, ma? So you can write the uh, strepto erythromycin, streptomycin, or the, these are the, the antibiotics that produce the uh, that are produced from the fungus to cure the bacterial diseases and vaccines you can write smallpox vaccine uh, that is um, and the polio vaccine uh, rabies vaccine so you can write the examples like that kitchen okay, next we'll move to the uh, topic of different scientists who have developed the different vaccines so what is this we'll see till then you can note down these points see here children about the scientists and their inventions and discovery so there are several times scientist has uh, invented the antibiotics and discovered the vaccines for various diseases. Okay, so what are their inventions we will see now. Again we will revise about the antibiotics and the vaccines. Alexander Fleming, you know, he was the first to invent the an antibiotic penicillin, an antibiotic to kill the bacterial diseases. Okay, Louis Pasteur. Pasteurization theory he developed, you know, in the cell lesson we have already learnt about the Louis Pasteur and also it, it, it this pasteur, according to his pasteurization theory, he developed the how to preserve the milk for the longer period. Next, vaccine for rabies and anthrax. And rabies is a disease caused by the infected dogs, dog bite. So if a dog contains the rabies and it bites the other person or the animal, it gets the rabies. And also the anthrax, the disease generally occurred to the cattle. Anthrax disease. It did to prevent the rabies and anthrax disease, it, uh, the rabies vaccine was being developed by Louis Pasteur, which was uh, well versed in the world. Next, Edward Jenner, as you know well, the vaccine for smallpox was being developed by him. And it was the first vaccine which was ever developed and paved the way for the development of the several other vaccines too and they saved millions of people from the suffering from the dreadful smallpox disease and now this disease was totally eradicated from the public and next thing about the Dr. Ella Pragada Subbara 
Labradusubarao. He developed the oreomycin. It's a sex tetracycline. Sex uh, cures various bacterial diseases. It's an antibiotic. Cures uh, uh, several bacterial diseases like typhoid, plague, tuberculosis, etc. So you can note down these uh, about these scientists and their inventions or discoveries uh, so that you can answer several questions regarding this topic okay children in the next topic i'll deal with the soil micro microorganisms that is the microorganisms that are present in the soil okay children note down this points in the next class we'll meet again goodbye bye bye thank you